Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my blow dry routine for my short, fine, thin hair and how I achieve lasting volume using a hair dryer and a round brush. This video is in collaboration with Melody Susie, so thank you to Melody Susie for collaborating on today's video. This is a paid collab. I was really excited when they reached out. I'm very familiar with the brand Melody Susie. They have really great nail products, but they have since come out with a hair dryer and this one really intrigued me because it's not like anything I've ever seen and I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I don't know if you can see on the box here it has this little roller ball and that's how you can control the intensity of the air so it's not like little buttons I have a little roller ball to switch through airflow really quickly and easily so let me go ahead and unbox it for you guys you can buy it on Amazon for right now it's $79.99 plus extra 10% off but it does go up and down in price depending on you know whatever the seller decides to price it at but this is what it looks like straight out of the box I did already use it a few times I just put it back in for unboxing purposes and it comes in three different colors I opted for the pink one it comes in black and silver as well and it also comes with a nozzle which I think is really great because this kind of helps to smooth the hair out and give you a nice smooth blowout like really packed in there but it's not a magnetic nozzle which I actually don't mind because I feel like sometimes magne magnetic nozzles when you're blow drying your hair they can fall off this one is gonna stay put it's lightweight it's small it's compact and it does a really good job so i'll show you guys how i blow dry my hair in today's video using this new melody susie hair dryer there's a bit of an up close of the hair dryer out of the box i think it looks absolutely gorgeous i love this pink color on this side you have the button to turn it on so you'll press this to turn it on and then this roller ball right here is what you can use to increase the intensity of the airflow and then this button right here is what you use to change the temperature so this is temperature this is airflow, like the air speed. So I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like. Can I also say that I really appreciate that they have this thing right here. I know I would much prefer a Velcro one because I'm scared this one might rip, but I love that I can like put the cord back together instead of having to wrap it around. I don't know, I just personally, I use this for all my electrical cords as well and I appreciate that. So it's like the little things. Okay, so let me kind of demonstrate the sound level and how it works. So power. the gist of it it has three different temperature modes as you guys saw blue is the coolest setting and then it has an orange and then it has red which is the hottest setting and i will say it gets pretty hot which i like because for some people they want that hotter temperature and then i really love this feature here personally i think it's really great and really easy to kind of use while you're blow drying your hair and then to apply this attachment you just pop it in and then you can rotate it however you like. It has negative ion technology, which is great because it's going to help with giving you that nice smooth blowout. I usually use the Shark Flex Style, kind of like the Dyson, where it has those curling barrels and it uses like air heat technology to curl the hair. I don't use the curling attachments for my hair because I feel like they don't really curl short, fine, thin hair very well. I'd rather use a curling iron. But I do love using the round brush. I know that Revlon has a round brush, which I've tried, but I have since heard many many people say they had a lot of hair loss using the Revlon because it can snag the hair and then also one thing that I don't like about the shark is I feel like their attachment it's too large their original one is like an oval shape and then they came out with a newer one which is a rounder shape but the bristles are pretty long for short fine thin hair like mine I can't really get the lift at the roots that I'm looking for so this is where something like this comes in very helpful number one it's not as expensive and then number two I'm able to choose the round brush that I want for my hair type. So this one I got off of Amazon. It's from Olivia Garden and I'm not exactly sure what. I think it's like a one inch one, maybe one and a half. It says 35 on it. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon as well. And I love this because it really helps me get close to the roots to give me that lift at the roots that I want. And with the correct products, the lift will last you all day long. For hair routine, I usually kind of do the same thing. My hair's drying, so I gotta work fast. I'll go in with a leave-in conditioner first and kind of spritz that, brush that through a little bit. And then sometimes I'll go in with the Orbit Hair Alchemy Fortifying Treatment, especially right now since I just colored my hair. I like to use a little bit of this just to fortify the hair strands and kind of run this through my hair as well. And then next, sometimes I'll go with like a volumizing mousse. I have this one from Color Wow. It's weightless. It doesn't really do much, but it does do a little bit of something. Today, I'm just going to go in with a root thickening spray. 
I have this one from Color Wow and this one from Nexus. I'm not sure which one I like more. You just spray this at the roots and be careful because it does add grittiness to it. So you're not spraying this throughout your hair strand. You're just concentrating this at the roots and then I kind of just like to rub it in to disperse it a little bit. And then next I'll go in with a hair thickening spray. This really helps to thicken up the hair or at least give the appearance of thicker hair strands without making it too gritty. So love this product. I've already bought it several different times. And then I'll just finish off with a hair oil. I have this one from Olaplex. And this kind of just helps to seal everything in. So I'll do a few drops, rub it in between my palms, and then kind of start at the ends and work my way towards the front. I don't like to start at the front because I don't want it to be too greasy, especially since my hair is fine and thin. But at the same time, I do want it seal everything and then smooth it out. So that is what I use in terms of hair products. Sometimes I'll go in and try something different, but for the most part, that's kind of that's kind of what I use. And now for the fun part is blow drying the hair. So I like to work in sections. So I'm gonna start off on the bottom section here and pin the rest of the hair up. And the way that I like to blow dry my hair is I like to bring the round brush really up close to the roots and give the roots some lift like this. And then I'll take my hair dryer. I'm not going to turn it on just yet so you guys can hear what I'm saying. It's much easier if I'm holding it with this hand and blow drying it with this one. But I kind of hold it like this for a few seconds and blow dry it in this position to really give my roots some lift. And then I just kind of start to bring it down. If you curl it inward and blow dry it, you're going to get that inward curl like this. What I personally like to do is I kind of just drag it down straight like this. That way it has a little bit of bounce to it, but it's more so straight because I kind of like my ends to be straight. So that's just the technique that I personally use, but I do like to hold it for a few seconds here at the root because this technique really helps to give my roots that lift and it usually lasts all day. So let's go. Here is the hair all blow dried. I got like a little bit of bounce. We have lift at the roots. It's not flat, but it's still sleek and smooth. Like it's not frizzy. If I were to just go in and blow dry my hair, it would be super frizzy and like the ends would curl out. I'll actually insert a video here of what my hair looks like when I just blow dry it without using a round brush. And it's not a good look. So I feel like using a round brush, especially something like this, this is a good quality one that kind of retains the heat well it really makes a big difference and you're really able to get close to the root and give your roots that lift that can last you all day long, especially if you're using the right products for your hair type. And my hair still feels really soft and manageable. Like these products don't make my hair feel crunchy or anything like that. And I'm really happy with the end results. This process does take a little bit more time compared to the Shark Flex style, especially in the back it can be a little bit more time consuming, but I love the end results and you don't really need crazy expensive products to get a really nice blowout at home for short fine thin hair. I would say this is a pretty good price for a hair dryer like this. I think it has good technology, has a negative ion technology. The airflow, the speeds, the options on it are pretty good. It's not too hard to use. I love this little dial here. Just be careful when you're holding it that you're not holding it your fingers over here as you're drying it because you can accidentally change the speed. So I just kind of like grab it like this. But I love this right here. I think it's really cool. I love that you can like really control the airflow. So it's not just like three settings for airflow. You can like really control it pretty precisely. So there's nothing bad that I can say about this hair dryer. If it's a product that I would use myself, then I feel like it's a product that I would be more than happy to collaborate on and recommend to you guys. So thank you again to Melody Susie for collaborating on today's video. I'll leave the link to this down below if you guys want to shop, check it out. 
read into the details and all of that but i hope you guys found this video helpful and informative thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope to see you guys in future videos